I just finished everything, I think. I think I'm done with everything. So I'm gonna give you guys like a little tour of how everything looks. What's up you guys welcome back to another vlog so today is monday the 5th of november yes we're already in november which is crazy to me i can't believe that uh, this year is almost over also if you couldn't tell i am currently sitting on my stairs i just like to sit here sometimes i don't know but i'm actually starting this vlog kind of late in the day it is currently 5 40 p.m and what we're going to be doing today is something a little bit different since it is november and since i'm so extra i have decided that i want to put up all of my christmas decor already those of you guys who have been watching me for a long time know that i generally do like to decorate the home really nicely for christmas and i honestly wasn't gonna do that this year just because um i don't know i just like wasn't feeling it but then i decided like you know i gotta decorate otherwise i'll regret it so we are going to be doing that today i've already brought down my tree and i also have a couple of boxes with um christmas decor in them I'm not 100% sure what is in here. I know that there's the tree. But... Oh, I did pack everything away really nicely. Okay. It's like a giant sack. Okay, so we have... Oh, ranges garland oh okay yeah i kind of remember how i did everything now i gotta take all of this out and we'll see what we're working with wait is my tree in here oh my god my christmas tree isn't in here what is it oh actually i think it's all the way in the bottom okay we're good i thought i thought i put it somewhere else all right so I am going to go ahead and take everything out of here. I think I'm going to try and put up all the like the decor pieces around the living room and, and kitchen and stuff first. And then I will do the tree last. I don't even know if I have the space to put up everything like I used to. I'll throw up like a little flashback of what my old place looked like when I decorated it in previous times. little mistletoe i'm gonna take the garland and probably put it like along the stair case railing but yeah we'll we'll see how i decide to do things as you can see as always my theme is just gonna be white and silver as usual i did think about buying a new christmas tree this year but i was like you know what no one is gonna sit around it and see it except for me so we'll just stick with the white okay so let's get to it i guess by the way check out my new flowers that i bought i got these last week and they are still in full bloom i get these every year around this time of the year they're just pom-pom chrysanthemums as you can see it's like a little a little ball and they're so cute i love them it's actually super handy that my staircase railing is like this as you can see it's got this like deep divot right here so i can kind of just sit the garland in there as is and if you're wondering um yes this did already come pre-decorated and i actually got this from the dollar store i believe you can find pretty decent inexpensive decor for your home at the dollar store um i don't know the exact name of the one that i got it from but i like that it's already pre-decorated so i don't have to worry about any of that so i'm pretty sure the decorations are like glued into place i don't know if the amount of garland that i have is going to reach all the way upstairs i mean if it doesn't i'm not too crazy about it because i'm only really focusing on decorating like this downstairs area so I'm not too faced by that. Also, I don't know if I'm going to put my Christmas tree here and I'll have to like find another spot for this 
because I don't know if it's gonna fit in that little space there or my other spot for it was just gonna be like right there because there's a PowerPoint there which is perfect and I never really sit at the dining room table anyway but we'll see what I decide. This space is a lot smaller than my old place, obviously. So I got to kind of work things around to see how everything will fit. But that is what my thought process is so far. Like, where am I going to put the tree? I mean, I guess I guess I could even put it here and then move my lamp. But I don't know. Would that be a good spot? Actually, maybe that would be a good spot. Ooh, okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, I just quickly laid down the garland like in the railing real quick. I haven't even styled it properly yet, but it pretty much reaches to the top of the stairs. It looks so cute already. <laughs> I need to like properly fan out um, these branches. Are they branches? Leaves, stems, or whatever. I need to like fluff them up, but I'm so happy that it actually reaches the whole way up so that looks cute honestly i feel like i do want to go and get a different christmas tree just for the pure fact that this garland is going to be on display and i feel like if i got a tree that was like green and the same as this then it would look nicer so i don't know but it looks cute okay i just finished like fluffing and fanning out the what do i call these branches leaves <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I just finished fluffing up the garland and it looks pretty cute. I think I need to still like get uh, some little battery operated fairy lights and kind of weave them through all of this and it looks super cute. But for now, it's done and I think it looks really pretty. So in this box here, um, oh, I have like little random bits of decor i remember half of these were for like a little um centerpiece that i used to make for the dining table but i don't think i'm gonna do that this year i have this too i don't know where i'm gonna put these though um some reindeer and then underneath there's more decor some more of this stuff as well this is just like random bits and pieces i guess i think these i put um in my kitchen i think i can't remember yeah i think i put these in my kitchen along with these as well i remember now i had them like up on the sign above my cabinets and stove it's going to be a mission afterwards, vacuuming up all the glitter because everything is pretty much like shimmery and glittery. So yeah, I'm going to put these in the kitchen. These stockings are pretty cute too. I don't think I'm going to put them up this year. Oh, maybe I will just for decor purposes. I'll put them on the, on the banister in the stairway in here. What is that? Oh yeah, it's Santa. It's so funny, like unboxing christmas decor of year because it's like you don't remember what you have until you look at it and it's like oh yeah i did have that so i have those don't know if i'm gonna put those up this year as well i think i had these oh no way it broke i see a broken antler no wait where did that come from oh man it's broken i think i have some super glue somewhere I can always glue that on shouldn't be too difficult to do that as for these things what is this oh another reindeer i don't know if i'm gonna put those up i have two of them they're like as you can see silver and white glitter <laughs> and then this thing i remember i made this it was like a plain wreath and I like put the baubles in and attached those on. Same with this. This is like just one of those decorations you put on the tree. And I like put that in there. I kind of need to fix it up because it's a little bit crooked. And then I put this giant bow on it. And I made it. So it's pretty cute. There's already lights on it. I just don't know where the battery pack is. Oh. 
wait, does it still turn on? Oh no, the batteries are dead. Damn, okay. I'm gonna have to replace that. So many Santa hats. I don't even know like where these come from. I'm gonna put up all the little bits and pieces of decor. And yeah, I'll show you how it all looks once I'm done. Don't think I'll be keeping these. I'll probably put them away. But I have these um, hurricane vases, hurricane vases. I think that's what they're called. I can't remember where I bought them from, but I think you can find them from like Target, the dollar store, anywhere like that. And I have one more of these reindeer. You can go there. And then I've got a bunch of these little baubles. So I'm going to fill up the vases with these. That's done. That's like the most basic little coffee table centerpiece decor ever. There's like throwing some baubles into a container, but... I don't know, it ain't too bad. I feel like this style isn't so much my style anymore. Like I probably wouldn't have so much glitter going on, but I'm not about to go out and buy a whole new set of Christmas decor this year. So I'm just working with what I've got because I feel like my style has kind of like matured a little bit. I Like I do like the glitter and the sparkle, but I probably wouldn't put as much of it as I have in previous years. But hey, it, it looks fine for now so that's done also i did put up the little um christmas trees and reindeer next to the sign in my kitchen and it looks like it doesn't look too bad i still need to unpack my christmas tree i also have to figure out what pieces i want to put on the tv unit i used to have like these two vases with um fairy light branches i think i still have those somewhere up in storage but i don't have the vases because i know i broke one so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna do that but i also have to glue this guy's this poor little guy his antler where is it actually where did i put it oh here yeah i need to fix that I need to glue that on if i can find my super glue somewhere i found the super glue i knew i had some so we have to try and figure out how to glue this into place hopefully it'll stick Let's see. I think it worked because you can't even really tell that it broke off. But it's on there now. So I'm going to put these guys on the TV unit and try and style it and figure out how I want it to look. Do they get any glue on my fingers? No, we're good. <laughs> I'm just about to take a quick food break because it's already quarter past seven and I haven't had dinner yet. This doesn't look very good, I'm aware, but I made it yesterday, so it is technically leftovers. It's just Cantonese chicken with some carrots and broccoli, like, stir-fried into there. And then the sweet potato, broccoli, cauliflower, rice. Pretty much just a whole heap of vegetables and meat. So, I'm gonna eat this, and then we shall continue on with the decorating journey. Alright, next up, I'm going to put my tree up. Don't know where I'm gonna put it still. I really don't know if I want to put it over here in this corner or if i'm gonna put it here it really just depends like how big it is looking at it like this it doesn't look like it's a very big tree but i feel like it was a pretty decent size so i'm going to like put it together and put it up first and then i'll decide where i'm gonna put it this is the part i hate though is like taking the branches and fanning them out and making them look nice it's not fun to do by yourself but i'll figure it out okay my tree is up this is how it's looking. I don't know if I want to keep it in this spot. Let me move it over a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep it in this spot. I did try to put it in this corner. Like I took this tree away and put it in this corner and it looks way too big for the space. And I don't know if I want to really try and put it over here just because half of it you can't see anyway. Like you'd only be able to see the top half of the tree. I really don't know where. I'm going to put this, but for now, I think it's just going to stay here. I feel like it's in such an awkward spot though, like that space in between the counter and the tree is like too small. Maybe I need to move it back. I don't know. I'm like confused. Okay guys, so I just finished putting the tree together. I put the lights on as well. Still don't know if I'm going to keep it in this spot, but for now, I guess it doesn't look too bad. I brought down my ornaments. From storage all my ornaments are in here so I have to put those on and then that'll be the tree pretty much done 
And then I, for my TV unit, I didn't really add too much to it. I just put the two little reindeers on either side and then that little Santa over there. But as you can see, there's like some lights kind of peeking through the back of the actual TV. I need to hide those. Or maybe I can kind of like, I don't know. I haven't decided, decided yet. But the reason why is because I put the lights on the garland and the banister on the stairs. And it looks so cute. It turned out better than I expected, honestly. Like I didn't think it would look this cute, but it looks super, super cute. And then I just put up these two little stockings purely for decoration, because I thought it looked cute at the bottom of the stairs. So let me show you how it looks when you're walking down. It's so cute. So that's the hallway to my bedroom. And then here's the stairs. It looks so pretty. So cute. And then there's the tree there. I still, feel like I want to get a green tree but let me just decorate this one and I'll show you how it looks once it is done I don't think I'm gonna keep this here actually now that I'm thinking about it I think I need to take this down and I'm going to put um oh actually let me go and see if I have them these things I don't know where, what they're called but they're like little battery operated um fairy lights intertwined into like these branches and I feel like yeah I'll put these into this and take this out so I thought I'd show you guys some of my tips when it comes to decorating the tree with ornaments just to make sure that everything is like evenly spaced and there aren't like two of the same ornaments next to each other I don't know if anybody else does this but this is like something I've always done so as you can see when I store my ornaments I put them into categories so that everything is all together so so let me start with this for example I'll like look at the tree so I'll start like placing them and I'll go down so that they're like kind of diagonal to one another and they're not too close together if that makes sense so then everything is like evenly spaced out and then I'll just continue to do that with all of the ornaments until I'm like satisfied with how everything looks. So I start at the top and then I'll just go ahead and kind of place them all around, diagonal from one another. And that is how I decorate my tree evenly. And yes, I do um, put ornaments like all the way around it. I'll kind of like go on one side with another and then on the other side, yeah. That's how I decorate my tree. Don't mind the mess down there, by the way. I need to vacuum the floor because there has been so much fallout when I've been unpacking everything. Anyways, I'm gonna continue to do this, continue to decorate my tree. Also, if any of you guys are wondering where I got these ornaments from, um, I'm pretty sure I got them from like a mixture of like Target, Kmart, Big W. For those of you guys who live here in Australia, that's like, the most inexpensive alternative when it comes to decorating the tree. I pretty much like to use a mixture of like these normal round ones, normal round ones, and then I have a couple of like extra looking ornaments. Oh, this is my Christmas star. It's not exactly a star, it's more like a, I don't know what you call that, but yeah. I'll put that on at the end. Um, underneath, I have some bigger ones too. So I'll show you those when I get to those. So this is the next layer of ornaments that I have. As you can see, they do match with the ones that I put over in that thing over there. They do match. So I have a bunch of like bigger ones and smaller ones. I don't know what these bows are for. I can't remember why I had those. And then I have um, these ones they're just like candy canes snowflakes these are actually so pretty not that i've ever seen a snowflake in real life before but this is ideal <laughs> all right guys i look horrible right now i look like a sweaty mess but i just finished everything i think i think i'm done with everything so i'm gonna give you guys like a little tour of how everything looks okay there we go so down the stairs we go this is probably my favorite part the little um 
garland down the stairs. It just looks so cute and the fairy lights really made it. I think it goes with it really well. And then there's my tree. So I still kind of wish that I did have a green tree, but I mean, it goes, I guess, because everything in my house is black and white and like mirrored and chrome. So I guess it goes. It's okay. I can't remember if I showed this, but yeah, I put those little branches in that vase and replaced the flowers that were in there. And I felt like that made it more crazy. It's so funny because like my style with decorating for Christmas is very like cozy with all the fairy lights and stuff. But what you guys don't realize, especially those of you who live overseas, like it's really hot here at the moment. It's currently like 90 degrees or something ridiculous like that. Um, but, but I just feel like Christmas is such like a, a cozy kind of holiday. I mean, look at the stockings, like they're covered in fur. This, this is not an Australian Christmas style, I'm telling you. But I've always decorated like that. So, um, my stairs are really creaky. Can you hear that? sound really creaky anyways um yes so the tree is all lit i think it looks really pretty i have those little branches in there and then as for the kitchen is it clean yeah it's clean i have those up there i didn't really want to put too much up there because i don't know it's not like my old place where there was like a lot of space above the cabinet so this is the view from the front entrance like near the front entrance it looks so cozy you guys oh my goodness i didn't do too bad if i do say so myself also yes i do have fairy lights outside they kind of stay up all year round so it all goes because you can see the reflection of the tree in the window like in the glass doors which i really like but it just looks really extra with the lights outside too. And then for the living room, I already showed this, but I ended up taking the, um, I didn't use battery up, uh, blah, blah, blah. I didn't use battery operated lights for these just because I know that if I turn them on, they'll probably stay on all night most of the time. And I didn't want to have to go through batteries like that. So I ended up taking a spare set of, um, lights i have so many of these i don't know why i have so many different sets i found them in storage i was like hey we're gonna use these so i ended up just taking the excess and running it along here i mean i hate how that looks but there's not really any other way to do it since there's no other powerpoint um yeah that's just how it's got to be so i ended up running it along there and i went behind the tv and it kind of doesn't look too bad i guess so yeah that is how everything is looking it's so cozy you guys i don't know if you guys can tell but i do have the fan on high at the moment because it is hot i feel like i've been sweating like crazy putting everything together but i'm just i'm glad i took the time to do it it just looks so pretty and cozy and it makes me feel super festive which is good i did think about decorating like upstairs in my office and in my bedroom like i have done in the past because i did used to go crazy and like decorate my office every year during the holidays but um i don't think i'm gonna do that this time around just because i don't know i I'm trying to keep everything like a little more simple. I say that and like look at everything around me, but I, I don't know. I didn't want to make too much work for myself in terms of like taking everything down. <sighs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. The tree looks so cute in the back as well. And I'm actually obsessed with the stairs. Like that's my favorite part of this is the stairs. My camera is currently flashing at me, telling me that it's about to die. I look like a sweaty mess. I need to go and have a shower and get ready for bed because it is currently 9.30 at this point. So I'm actually pretty tired. I went to the gym today. I took a nap in the middle of the day as well, but for some reason I'm really tired. So yeah, I need to go and um, take care of all that. I feel like this vlog is going to be really short because I haven't vlogged for more than two weeks because my last upload of a vlog was two weeks ago and that was filmed like even prior to that. I don't know why I've just been feeling like I've been in a little bit of a rut with videos lately. I know, I know you guys love the vlogs. Lately I've just been feeling like I don't even like 
to vlog the same things over and over again it's hard to explain but that's how i've been feeling so that's why there's been like a little bit of a lack in vlogs i have been getting messages from some of you guys asking me like where's the new videos where's the vlogs where have you been are you okay which i so appreciate and i love you guys for that in all honesty all i've been doing lately is just working and sleeping and going to the gym and eating that's my routine <laughs> but anyways i um I need to go to bed. My eye has been really itchy all day today. I looked like a zombie somewhere in there. <sighs> but anyways, I definitely need to get ready to go to bed because I'm actually tired for once. I never get tired this early. I don't know if it's the heat, but lately I've been feeling like I want to go to bed earlier than usual, which is a good thing, I guess. But um, yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. I feel so weird sitting in here with all these lights. And it's like dark. It's just completely dark. I turn the TV off. Yes. I just realized that I nearly forgot to do comment of the day. And it's been so long since I've done that. So real quick before I go. Shout out to Ara Colleen. Your comment says. Binge watching all of your Christmas vlogs. Because it makes me feel so crazy. Hope you do it again this year. Okay. I know you guys. Some of you guys may be expecting me to do Vlogmas again. Which if you don't know. Vlogmas is something that I did for two years straight. I skipped last year. But the year previous to that and prior to that one as well, I think 2015 and 2016, I vlogged every single day for the month of December, but I didn't do it last year just because, you know, I was like, yeah, sorry to disappoint you guys, but I don't think I'm going to be doing it again this year just because I'm so busy with work. I don't know. I honestly won't be getting up to much. Like I won't be doing anything festive like I did in previous times. I don't know. I just don't think I can vlog every single day for a month straight you guys would go crazy and you'd be sick of me by the end of it but yes i hope you guys enjoy this vlog if you have any questions about anything like where i got stuff from comment down below and let me know because i'm sure i forgot to mention some things and as always if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed you know what to do hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that i post and yeah i think that's everything i need to say i don't know I, I feel like I want to talk to you guys more, but I don't know what else to say. So we're going to end the vlog here. Hopefully I can vlog again soon in the near future. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you guys in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video. I'll be waiting, won't give up on you.